The U.S. military will continue evacuating people from Kabul airport until an August 31st deadline if needed, but will prioritize the removal of U.S. troops and military equipment on the last couple of days. There are about 5,400 troops at the airport, a number that President Joe Biden says is set to go down to zero by the end of the month, depending on cooperation from the Taliban. Army Major General William Taylor, with the U.S. military's joint staff, told a news briefing more than 10,000 people were at Kabul airport waiting to be evacuated from Afghanistan. First of all, we will continue to evacuate uh, needed populations all the way to the end, if, if, if we have to and we need to. Um, if, uh, if you're an evacuee that we can get out, we're going to continue to get, get you out. On the 31st. Right up until the end. But in those last couple of days, uh, we're going to try to preserve as much capability as we can on, on the, on the, at the airport, as you might imagine. So in those last couple of days, uh, we will begin to prioritize military capabilities and military resources to, to move out. Uh, that doesn't mean that, um, uh, that if, if, if you're, you're an evacuee and, and, uh, and you need to get out, that we're, just, then we're not going to try to get you out, but that we will have to reserve some capacity in those last couple of days to prioritize the military footprint leaving, because we want to be able to keep it there as long as possible to do the job that it's intended to do. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.